Our theme today was uh, engaging men on ending FGM, uh, especially in the community of Maasai, where the Laikipia sub-community is one. Many and most of the decisions, strategic decisions, are made by men. And uh, having them on board and them agreeing that they are ready to end FGM, we feel that we are now secure and our girls are secure. They have confirmed that they will protect the girls and their women from these harmful practices from the past cultures. They have committed that they will work with the government of Kenya to end FGM. They have also committed that they will be there for their girls all the time. The, the, the historical, historical culture practices are really hard to extinct from them because it is their belief. And then FGM, I think, was is a myth that was instilled by the, the historical people into the Maasai, to the Maasai brains that once a girl is not circumcised, she is like an outcast in the community. Uprooting that from them is difficult. Again. Uh, like now we are in Dondon. It is a totally marginalized area. Uh, apart from having many, many organizations, non-governmental organizations within, these people will be somewhere else. But uh, from government interventions, they rarely see anything apart from the chief and the DCC and the DO. Any other body like the anti-FGM, they believe it is an Nairobi body that remains there. Pula ukenda hospitali, daktari wanasema kwa watu kumi anane wamekatwa wale wanakuja kujifungua. Lakini ukenda kwa reporting, iko down. Kwa hivyo inakuambia, kuna bado changamoto, ya kuna wale abao, hawafiki hospitali, na wale abao wanajificha mpaka nyumbani. Meaning, ile again, abaye tulikuwa tunafikiria by 2022, tugekuwa tumemaliza na deposa establishment mpaka ya anti FGM board ikakuwa ni kama bado uh, tuko bali kidogo lazima turudi kwa advocacy lazima to uh, strategize na nina hope kwa sababu leo kuona mpaka wazee wamehudhuria kikao kama hii na wakasoma hiyo declaration kwangu naona kama tumepiga hatua kubwa so ile inatakana ni pia kuleta mtoto on board Ya kwaba strategy, yache kukua tu uh, nini, wale abao ni, waz, ni waze na wamama Pia mtoto waeze kwa nini kukua on board Iyo diyo tunaita child participation Diyo turudishe maneno ya child rights Wajue rights zao, wajue ni watu wanaweza kuweda kureport Sio uh, kuripotiwa na wale wengine Na wajue ya kwaba pia ni hatia kufanya hivyo Kwa hivyo ni kurestrategize uh, Na ile changamoto wabaye tuko nae wabaye Hata body yenyewe ina acknowledge ni kuwa kuna issues za financing. Ukienda kama uh, nini, uh, organizations zenye ziko on grassroots, ukienda nationally unasikia wako wengi. Lakini the real picture on the ground hakuna iyo usaidisa efiki. Kwa hivyo kuna challenge ya financing, there is a campaign as well as bringing everybody on board. And the way forward is to bring on board every stakeholder. Majina naitwa Bernard Odino, uh, DCC Deputy County Commissioner, uh, Lakipia North. So the situation on the ground, uh, there are cases in the ground. Kuna cases ambazo ziko kwa ground, isipokuwa ya kwamba kuna collision kubwa, kwa sababu uh, mambo ya reporting ndiyo kuna changamoto. Mambo ya reporting kuna changamoto sana, lakini experts wanatuambia kwamba, Wa, wa mama wakienda, wakienda kwa hospitali aida kujifungua they are seeing ya kwamba the chance eh, percentages ya wale ambao wamefanyiwa FGM iko juu so tunamini ya kwamba kuna challenge kwa upande wa report we are not getting this information it is being concealed but uh, we have mapped um, all who are involved especially the traditional women you had uh, the director of uh, community policing was here and he was able to do the alifanya uh, hiyo mapping na kupitia hiyo njia 
tutafuata hiyo njia kuhakikisha kwamba this this issue is discouraged and is totally uh, uh, stopped from these communities yeah